Hey guys, Moon Mini here, back with another video of modded Minecraft Let's Play. So, sadly, I will admit, some footage has been missed, as my recording has messed up, and I have been busy. Over by the village, there was a dark oak biome, which I have gathered some trees. Also, in that footage, I have oh, built a smeltering. But like I say, as I was recording, something went wrong, and all the footage was being up and vanished. So... As well as that, mining, I went out and I got these resources. The flint to repair my tools, of course. And I have placed other drops, etc. in where they belong. But the main stuff that I have gotten, I put in here. So, for today, Honestly, I don't know what to do because I spent at least 20 30 minutes on that video and it's all gone. So I am a bit upset about that, but let's get on with it. So, I did stop to go mining, so I'm going to carry on from where I left off. We need lava on obsidian. So, how do we get lava on obsidian? Quite quick and easy. Well, I am going to set up a lava generator, which I use on crash landing. Or used, I should say, on crash landing. I'm going to yoink that block back and take this block. Yoink and place. So, to make this lava generator, the simplest things you need is a fluid pipe, four empty blocks, a oh, bit of log black. So, for example, these four blocks will do. You click in all three places and with a lava bucket you place down there. This will increase all crucibles to a times two percentage increase which then you right click on this one set to input and all of these you can either set to extract or leave on in and out. I prefer to set it to extract. Works more efficiently. To make the fluid conduit and to make the smeltery parts are quite easy. I have nicked the seed glass which is full of lava for a different project. Now I'll place it down in here for the time being. But for the blocks etc I will show you how I made them. So since I gathered the casting basins and casting tables. I'll show you them quickly. That's a casting table and the casting basin is quite simple like that. To make the drains which are behind them with the faucets. So that's how you make a smeltery drain. That's a seed 
faucet you make a controller with eight bricks and you can choose between two sources to store your lava you can choose a seed tank which has its benefits and default and defects defects sorry or you can choose the seed glass which I use as a tank and I did explain this all in the other video but like I said footage has been up and vanished to make the conduit binder you need oh, the binder composite which is six gravel two sand and one clay and to get the quite clear glass I used the chisel and I smelted glass and then used the chisel to make it Not just that, I smelted up more seared bricks, which I can now gather as well, from the grout, which is a mix between and if I go over a few pages. There we are. That's how you make grout. To make the crucibles, let's see if I can find it. I'll just click you on thumbnail. Probably be easier. the last page oh no you got the ceramic clay or you have if I can find it the porcelain clay which then you craft into the crucible you smelt into the crucible which then I have above the lava as well as I made more food and some torches apart from that I didn't do much else I did flatten the area but I did that all off camera and apart from that I think I'm all up to date Oh, and if you're wondering where I got the lava from, over there in the big lava lake. So, where was I? That was it. I wanted to upgrade my tools. So, to upgrade my tools, I am going to need to uh, make a few more things. I can go straight into iron tools or copper tools and start casting, so on and so forth. But what I think is better and faster is if I use cobblestone, which I should have a little amount in here with the coal that I gathered and I am going to make myself a new piece of equipment so 
while this is smelting, I'm going to quickly head out here. Yes, it is turning night. For the next few minutes, I'm going to be working inside. Oh, grab the potato. Did not mean to harvest that. Head quickly back inside. Come over to the furnaces, and I want to grab all the stone. Then I'm going to craft one item, two and three. And now I need to just grab one and one. There we go. Then I can use the stone that I've just gathered to make myself a stone barrel. This stone barrel will allow me to change regular old lava into obsidian. We've simply grabbing our lava bucket, placing it into stone barrel. Now I can do that as many times as I need to. So two obsidian should be plenty. I would normally chuck this into the smeltery and get four ingots, which is a lot more efficient. And means I get more for my work. But for the time being. And I don't really care. I am going to just repair my tool. There it is. I am going to repair my tool. And it says if I pull it into here. Yeah, it should say. Maybe it doesn't. All parts can be replaced. So from the 1 to 1 durability I have with the flint to a 71 that I can mine higher. So then when I be out I will be able to upgrade and I will be able to go from there. There we go. I will keep my flint tools for now. So I need a pickaxe that I was interested in that upgrading. So, in here we've got the excess stone I will use later on. Oh, over here. As well as I got this loot bag and most of the loot is in the chest. say iron now I can get diamonds my mine etc will be more efficient now that I've got myself an obsidian pickaxe so to begin off with I need to gather more resources but I'm going to begin off with a recipe free aluminium to one copper And then I would like some sort of ingot. Hopefully this will work. If it don't, then I am in a place between a rock and a hard place. If anything, I'll just use two seared ingots. So, we'll probably want to sleep before I do anything. Head up. Right, it says there's a creeper on the map. 
Can we have a side of the smart ring? Let's get higher up voltage. Yeah, I see it. If I can lure that away, I will. Because that way I do not have him or it or her, whatever you call a creeper, blowing up my stuff. If I had a bow, you would be already dead. Yeah, you go over that way and Trying to get it to fall in the hole. It's going to be harder than I expected. worth it. I didn't want it blowing up my stuff, so I risked it. Where was I? Oh yes, that was it. I was coming over here and doing this. Right, let's have a look. Three apples. I'll leave that in there for the time being because I do not really need the seeds, but they'll come in good use. Already midday. Surprising. Hopefully this will work. So six aluminium to two copper. Or should I say a three to one recipe? Should create me eight ingots of aluminium brass. Since I can't use those ingots, I will use this. And you can see straight away gets rid of my ingots. And that's because of what I have in the pack. So I can now chuck my dust. But I won't chuck all of this in at the same time because aluminium and copper will combine. If I combine tin, I'll have to put it in a smeltery which has aluminium because I do not want the copper and tin mixing to make bronze. So, that's why on most worlds I have two smelteries. One for one load of ores, another for a different set of ores. So the two ores don't mix creating an all that I don't want. So, since I've now got this obsidian bit, I can go mining and get iron, which will be more beneficial for me. But, yeah, that's a little ways off at the moment. As I'm going to head off due to reasons. And I 
will hopefully see you guys all in the next episode of Max's modded let's play till then have a good day have a good night wherever you are and this is Maxi signing out see you later